What I would say first of all is a lesson to all young attorneys. You shouldn't come on the television gloating before the judgment. You must wait until after the judgment and then you speak. Especially in circumstances where you're being paid by the government in a major case like this. And when you get to court, you take a junior counsel to argue the case. All right? Let me start by saying that. Can you say the Chief Justice is likely to um, approve what the defense is requesting? And the referendum still proceeds? Well, I, as I said on the last occasion, I am not going to prejudge what the Chief Justice is going to do. I need, first of all, to see what papers are filed by the government. I need to see what application they make and take instructions from my client and see how we respond. All I will say, as I said to the Chief Justice, the basis on which he granted the injunction is the legality of the whole referendum. And the government, having listened to that, have the temerity to immediately say to him, well, we don't worry about that. We still want to hold the referendum. But we are holding a referendum, but we now want to re uh, declare the results. Seems to me to be a rather bizarre request to the Chief Justice.